I have a lot of this growing in my yard and I found out that it is common sorrel and I tasted it and you know a lot of wild edibles you'll get unique flavors maybe some bitter flavors and different things like that but this is good it's like really good it's not bitter and it's yummy um, it's got some flavor to it uh, kind, you know it's got a little bit of a tang to it as you would expect with sorrel uh, but the leaves are super tender and they grow well and not too much bothers them so clearly they're organic um, and another thing I've decided that um, you know if I can let little bugs that I can't see do things to my food that I can't see um, when I'm fermenting and um, doing that thing but all those little bugs they are breaking down the food in a good way for me, making the nutrition more available. And here I am when something has eaten all over a leaf or something, I decide, okay, that's not going to work. Well, I've about decided that they've just um, they've just started in the started the process in a way that I can see. But you know what? The enzymes and things that they leave on there from just taking a little chew. It's probably helping me, and so I don't need to worry so much about it. So. I, now, if I've got a leaf that has, you know, trails all over it and slime and bug, you know, looks like the bugs just got the best of it, obviously I'm not going to eat it. But if a bug eats a hole in it and leaves the rest for me, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it as that's, uh, that's their share and I'll take the rest. All right, y'all have a good day.